Uh, so today we're running a virtual field trip with crew members at the Reef HQ in Townsville, Australia. Um, students from Point England School near Auckland, New Zealand, and students here um, from the PBS Youth Leadership Program. In Australia, we, right now we have Worldwide Forge crew members at Reef HQ. This is Hao Nani and Jenna from the Malama um, And what they're doing is there's a, there's a diver underwater. As he's swimming, he's also recording what he's seeing. And they can explain to the students what's happening in front of them, and then the students can interact and say, ask questions about specific coral species, fishes that they see. Um, so it's a lot more interactive. And I reckon, God buddies, we'll get started. I'd hate to see a big OK from everyone. That's the way. Awesome. Uh, our Great Barrier Reef has important cultural connotations for the traditional owners. The Australian Aboriginal community as well as the Torres Strait Islander community. These are connections going back tens of thousands of years. Okay, Kailo Intermediate, you can ask your question. <coughs> what kind of shark does the Great Barrier Reef have? Things like our tawny nurse shark here. Excellent time of day to get up close and the little black tip reef sharks. Gonna try and find some for you. Here comes come a few of them again. Hopefully I can pick them up. Master Jacks, here they go. One, two, three. Makes me realize what we can do with technology right now in this day and age um, and how powerful it is to be able to connect with people around the world as we Know, Malama Omua and think about how we're taking care of this earth and the ocean is a big part of the earth and the reef. It's important for me to be able to connect with other cultures and other people around the world and see what they're doing. Thank you for your questions. I'd also like to wish uh, the Hokalea crew all the very best on their journey. Thank you very much for joining with us and making this a possibility.